Hi everyone. So now that you have collected lots of articles after an extensive literature review, you have to justify to your examiners, reviewers or even your supervisors the criteria that you used to include or exclude articles that you gathered from your literature review. All right. So if you have been investigating a research topic, you have Googled databases like Scopus, Web of Science, and maybe got hundred, hundreds of articles or maybe 200, 300, 400 articles after a literature review. Now out of these 400 articles, you have to include some articles and exclude some articles based on your research focus right which you can then analyze in detail right and find the research gap but what criteria can you use to include or exclude articles from a literature review let's discuss 13 such examples first you can say that you are looking at publications of a certain language only and that could be based of course on your research topic if you cannot justify why you are looking at articles of certain language then of course the examiner will question you so an example here being that include articles or include articles or studies in English and Spanish all right, maybe your research question is that um, what are some of the issues that happen in translation when articles are translated from English to Spanish or vice versa. So you're only looking at English and Spanish articles. This is some kind of a justification that you can probably give that this is why when you found 400 articles in a certain area of let's say translation, you found certain areas, you know, translation, then you only analyzed the ones which discussed translation from English to Spanish. And that's why you only looked at those articles, something like that. The second one can be journal where you say that, you know, I looked only focused on, let's say, education journals, right? Now, although it's a difficult one to justify because the examiner might say why, why didn't you include every kind of journal? Uh, the reason could be that you could say that, you know, you are looking at particularly at a concept, education concept. So you excluded uh, maybe, you know, uh, sociology journals, which discussed the concept, but in a sociology context. So you only wanted to, uh, you know, focus on a certain topic, which discussed the topic in an education context only where the a certain theory was applied only in education not in sociology all right so you could look at that maybe you know theory of constructivism and constructivism is a theory that could have been applied in different concepts but you say that no i just wanted to study the impact of the theory in how it is when applied in education so you only focused on education journals all right then the third one is the author let's say you are looking at the work of a particular author then you can say let's say that you know i included articles only written by sam jones all right let's say you are you are analyzing the work of sam jones and our you know or grant wiggins you know so you might say that I'm only, I was only analyzing the work of this particular author. So I included articles only. So that's how your research focus should be. All right. Then setting could become another criteria. So you could say the setting is example, all studies. You look only at studies and that took place. Let's say in uh, community health settings or health sector right so it's a particular sector that you are looking at and you excluded 
all articles which were maybe set in community social service centers so that's how you distinguish the articles all right these are just examples i'm giving you random examples the fifth criteria you can use to include or exclude articles is participants or subjects for example you included all men and women but you included all people let's say who have a driver's license that's valid right valid driver's license but you excluded people who will not take the driving test right in english or something like that all right so just uh, you're looking at only people who have taken the driving test in a uh, english language number 6 criteria could be program or intervention what does that mean let's take an example here so let's say you are only including you know programs or you're studying programs that were led by teachers or educators right let's say but you excluded all programs that were may be led by students or learners you didn't want to study that you only wanted to study how the teachers were leading a certain program all right number 7 research design so research design an example could be you included only articles that discussed only maybe true experiments all right or randomized trials but you excluded studies uh without any kind of participant finding okay so you did, you only wanted to study where the participants were uh, randomly selected and not bind by a certain criteria because that was not what you wanted to investigate number 8 is sampling so sampling an example could be uh just let's take the previous sample only included articles where participants were randomly selected instead of a planned selection so you only want to look at that because that's the effect you want to study that's what you want to use in your research so that's the effect you want to study that how does a treatment or intervention work on a, a group of participants which were selected randomly and not with a like a, a plan or a predetermined criteria date of publication a lot of people do that uh so what you can say here that you only included studies between a certain time period let's say from you know uh, 1988 to 2021 an example could be 1988 was uh, when a certain when the your research focus or the term that defines your research focus uh, was coined first right this was when it was first introduced in literature so you started looking at that all right or you could look at a certain time period let's say 2000 to 2000 you know 10 something like that you know you can define a time period but you should be able to justify why you have taken chosen this time period uh that has to be a certain scientific reason for it otherwise the examiners will definitely question you as to why you did that then uh, the tenth criteria you can use is date of data collection so for example you only want to include studies maybe you know that collected data that collected data from 2000 to let's say 2014 or something like that and you excluded studies that did not give data the date of data all right so excluded studies and uh, that did not mention did not mention uh, when the data was collected because you might be looking at a, a certain phenomena historical phenomena 
uh, and uh, you want to make sure you wanted to be sure that uh, this data regarding this historical event or historical phenomena was indeed collected during the period in which it you know it the impact occurred it could be the global financial crisis the maximum impact of it or something like that and uh, you were you were not comfortable including articles that did not mention the when the date was collected because uh, then that would uh, affect your scientific inquiry number 11 is the duration of data collection so you only wanted to let's say include studies all right that collected data for let's say 12 months or longer all right so let's say that you are studying the effect of longitudinal data collection all right on on research participants so you only looking at studies that collected data for 12 months or longer they were studying the participants for a long time and hence you excluded all articles where data was collected in less than 12 months so you didn't want to include that because that was not your research focus right then number 12 is content content is that you only included studies let's take an example that included all uh, studies uh, let's say what could be an example here that let's say focus on that focused on the uh, let's say the primary prevention of illness primary prevention of an illness all right so you wanted to exclude studies that focused on secondary or tertiary prevention all right so you only wanted you are studying maybe you know uh, a disease and uh, you want to see how people administer the primary treatment the first treatment let's say all right so maybe you are studying the effects in the effects of uh, uh, how the covid initially sets in or people start observing how covid affects their system so what is the first treatment they took you know whether it cured or not cured that is not the question you are only studying what is the first primary prevention that was used to uh, try and arrest the spread of covid in the body and you are not looking at studies which uh, then followed up by secondary or tertiary treatment something like that right the last criteria you can use is probably a source of financial support and uh, this could um, include let's say that you want to include only privately supported studies all right so because you are uh, maybe focused on uh, private sponsoring of research or something like that so you are excluding you don't want to study uh, the studies where maybe government uh, was backing the research study so right so you want to maybe um, you know research on how does a private sponsorship affect the research outcomes or the end of uh, you know the research outcomes or the research management uh, so you only want to look at privately supported studies and exclude whatever the uh, studies in which the government was backing the research because uh, that becomes more official something like that so these are some of the criteria you can use to include or exclude article from your literature review uh, i'm sure there could be some more that you can think of but these are the ones that uh, i thought i should discuss and uh, bring to your attention uh, these are all from books uh, it's not that i am an expert but it's all from the books so i just collated it and i'm presenting it to you uh, so let me know what you thought about this and whether you use some other criteria for including and excluding uh, because the whole idea of starting this channel is to learn from each other uh, one person cannot know everything so this is my limited knowledge so please feel free to comment in the uh, comment section below thank you for watching the video guys and thank you for supporting the channel as well bye for now